Okay, we just proved that uh, in Hilbert space we can we have a unique um, minimizing approximation of any given vector in the space uh, to one uh, by one in the subspace. So let's uh, let's go through an example here. In this case, we'll let our space be um, R3. And we will have, uh, in order to be Hilbert space, we have to add a few more things to it. So um, we will use the what we call the standard with the standard inner product. which is that um, x, y is just equal to the sum from 1 to 3 of x, n, y, n. And that um, induces a norm. And the norm that uh, is introduced by that is uh, just the L2 norm. Okay, so we now have our space. And so a subspace will be the span of 1, 1, 1, and 1 minus 1, 1. And it's easy enough to see that uh, those two uh, vectors are linearly independent. So the dimension of this subspace is going to be 2 minus 2, 1, 3. And we have some vector that we want to approximate. OK. Find x hat in t that is closest to x. So we've done that before. All right. So how do we go about getting our solution? Well, as we Last time we had this constructive proof that said um, we could build up x hat uh, based on the basis vectors of uh, our subspace, and we had an equation to do it. So um, let's start out by building up the terms of that equation. So we need um, g, and we're going to need b. We don't have those yet, so let's come over here and work those out. We have to, to find the Gramian. We have v1 with v1. So 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 times 1 is going to be 3. And we need v1, v2. And that's easy enough. That's uh, 1 minus 1 plus 1, and give us 1. And since this is real, that'll be the same as v2, v1. And so the only other one we need is v2, v2, which again is going to be 3. So our Gramian matrix will look like 3, 1, 1, 3. And then for B, we need to find X with V1. Uh, so that's going to be negative 2 plus 1 is minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. And 
and x with v2 is going to be 2 times, or negative 2 times 1 would be negative 2, plus 1 times negative 1, that takes us negative 3, and then uh, 1 times 3 is 3, so when we add those up, we come up to 0. So this is going to be 2, 0. <clears throat> okay. If you don't remember how to do this, this is uh, just something to remember. Um, the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, uh, we do 1 over the determinant, so 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 times 1, it's going to be 1 8, and then we just swap and change the signs, but since it's symmetric that really turns out to be a very simple operation. And so A is equal to G inverse times B which is equal to 1 8 and 3 times 2 is 6 and minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 or 1 fourth times 3 and minus 1 okay so now what do we do do we have a solution yet yes we're pretty much there so x hat is just 3 times 1 fourth, or 3 fourths, times our first vector, which was 1, 1, 1, plus negative 1 fourth, times the second vector, which is 1 minus 1, 1. And so now we have 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. We're going to get one half, three fourths plus one fourth, that'll give us one, and three fourths minus one fourth again is one half. So that's our solution. To find the best approximation in this subspace. So we can double check, always a good idea. If we have x minus x hat, x as you recall is minus 2, 1, 3, we get negative 2.5 or 2.5, 1 minus 1 is 0, and 3 minus 1 half is 2.5, and this needs to be orthogonal to x hat. Is it? Yes, so we have uh, minus two and a half times one half plus two and a half times one half and that is indeed equal to zero and we have the minimizing quantity <coughs> there. 